with respiratory problems, especially children with asthma, may be relieved to know that San Antonio's ozone levels have dropped. But Jesse Degoyata reports we are still considered just short of the standard set by the Environmental Protection Agency, but the source of that problem may come from far away. What does a droopy American flag in the early morning say about ozone levels? If the air is really still, we don't have a nice breeze, then those are the days when we'll have high ozone. It should be no higher than 70. We were at 74, but now it's 72. Good news, encouraging. That's great news. She says if San Antonio ends the year at 72, it stands a fighting chance to be where it needs to be. Also, this kind of traffic and the emissions it releases are no longer considered the main culprit. The emissions on the vehicles have really dropped and that's helped our air quality tremendously. A study also showed most of San Antonio's ozone problem is fueled from afar. So the EPA is being asked to take that into account. Kind of rule out what those emissions, how much of that makes up the problem that we have in the area. Still, business and industry, like those represented here, are being asked to do more to hold down their emissions or risk costly federal mandates if San Antonio's non-attainment status goes beyond marginal. Anything that the federal government asks for, we are trying to go far above and beyond. Uh, of course, keeping an eye on the bottom line. Rather than release emissions that react with sunlight to create ozone, instead of driving, have on-site meetings or conference calls, fuel up fleet vehicles after 6 p.m., postpone using mowers and gas-powered equipment, or delay painting, ground maintenance, and road repairs. Well, I'm told that these cooler and, well, somewhat cooler and windier conditions actually help reduce the ozone level. San Antonio has until December 2020 to reach that federal standard of 70. And, but I'm told that it's going to take everyone, individuals and companies, certainly to do their part. We're live downtown, Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.